I'm Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone, and I'm asking for a few minutes of your time. Today's topic is one that is emotionally charged. It is about the requirement to wear masks in Maricopa County because of the pandemic that we're dealing with. I know that for many, you believe that this is the right thing to do because you want to take steps to protect not only your own health, but the health of others, whether it's friends or family members. For others, you feel that the government being involved to dictate a term such as this requiring you to wear a mask is an overstep and that you should have the right to make the decision yourself and it should be imposed upon you. I respect both of those perspectives, but I just want to offer my perspective for consideration. Whether it is COVID, the flu, or any other biological threat, we all want to know that our family members and friends are safe and healthy. And oftentimes, we can take steps to promote that, and it may come at an inconvenience. I would prefer that the government was not involved in these types of decisions, yet recognizing that we have seen a considerable surge in our community of those infected, and it has taken the lives of those we care about, we have to ask ourselves, what are we willing to do to try to flatten this curve and get back to a place where our children can go to school and we can be socially active without the fear of a biological threat. That means all of us being involved. So from my office, we know that the Board of Supervisors recently passed a ruling that will come through an order that dictates that masks are required in public. I have not yet seen the language, so I can't speak to the expectation. Once I receive it, I'll review it. But I want you to understand this. My deputies, never expected that they would be involved in public health law enforcement. It was always public safety. But there's absolutely a correlation between public health and public safety. Our number one priority will be to work with community members and businesses with the hopes that we can collaborate on a way to take the appropriate steps to keep our neighbors, our friends, and our families safe. Yeah, it absolutely comes with inconvenience. But for those who have lost loved ones or seen them suffer due to this illness, and for me, it doesn't matter if we, it's the flu, if it's some other biological threat or COVID. Ultimately, real lives have been lost. Real people have been affected and infected by this. And if we can do something to make a difference, I think it's incumbent upon us to give it serious consideration. There's no place for politics on this issue. And truthfully, I prefer that there was no place for public law enforcement to have to impose the will of the government to try to get support and buy-in on this issue. I'm just asking you to be open-minded, remove all those other factors and ask yourself if someone that you love or care about was infected and it was so severe that it would jeopardize their life, would you feel better knowing that your neighbor was willing to put on a mask to prevent that from happening? So I thank you for your patience and consideration as I speak with you about this. I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm not trying to dictate anything to you. I'm just asking you to work with us so that we can put COVID behind and find ways to ensure that we are promoting health and public safety throughout our community. Thank you.